Hey guys, this is Shukesh Bonik and today in this video, I'm going to make a quick hardware and benchmark review on this new Samsung Galaxy Grand 2. Samsung has put some real good hardware this time compared to the first generation of Grand, though the exterior design remains the same, especially the front look. At the back, there is a fake leather-like cover just like Galaxy Note 3 and we really appreciate this type of changes because this design is already played out and new design gives the phone their own identity by the way the design is flawless though it's a 10,000 rupees phone its build quality is nothing less than the 45,000 rupees galaxy note 3 the good news is this time samsung has put a 720p display with 280 ppi which is much better than the 187 ppi of the grand one it's a TFT LCD display and the display size is 5.25 inches. As you can see the small text are not pixelated like before and the color reproduction of this display is also excellent. The main reason behind Samsung's success is their colorful displays and the software features and both of these are present on this new Grand 2. So this is going to be a huge hit in the market. Now the question is apart from the display and the software features, how good is the hardware that is the CPU, GPU, RAM etc. Well I have used this device thoroughly and I have faced some minor issues like occasional lag and freezing on the browser and the play store. Though this phone didn't hang but play store and browser crashed twice during the last two days. But this is not something you should be worried about. Samsung is obviously going to release some updates and fix this issue. So go ahead and get this phone if you like it, especially for browsing the internet, playing games and also for watching movies. Now guys, let me give you a walkthrough of the specs. As you can see, the processor is a Cortex A7, not Cortex A9. So this is where Samsung did the trick to make it a 22,000 rupees phone. The clock speed is 1.19 GHz and it's a quad-core processor. The GPU is Adreno 305 which is again not a hardcore GPU but okay for a device like this. The chipset as you can see is MSM 8226 and the Android version out of the box is 4.3 Jelly Bean. The display is 720p as you know and the RAM this time is 1.5 GB which is a good upgrade. But you know Samsung phones are extremely feature rich, there are lots of applications run in the background. That's why the free RAM is always very low. Still you can do lots of multitasking and 1.5 GB of RAM on a mid-range phone is not bad. The internal storage of this phone is the same 8 GB and you will get around 4.8 GB for the user which is really low for a 22,000 rupees phone with these specs. These are the sensors. Only the important ones are present on this Grand 2. Let me now show you the multi-touch capability of this smartphone. As you can see Grand 2 supports up to 5 point multi-touch. The multi-touch quality is extremely good. There is no flickering or low sensitivity. Samsung phones are always very good in touch response. The call quality on this Grand 2 is extremely good. The microphone also records a very good quality voice. The loudspeaker is loud enough for a small room and overall I liked the quality of the loudspeaker. Now guys, I'm going to run some benchmarks and talk about the performance of this new Grand 2. The first benchmark I'm going to run is the Quadrant Standard. We got the result and well, the result is extremely good. It's 8474 which I didn't expect. It's much higher than HTC One X and also Note 2. Here is the breakup. The CPU score is very good 32582. The memory is 2745, IO is 4465, 2D 350 and 3D graphics is 2230. Next I will run the Antutu benchmark. The result is here and 
This device's score is 16915, which is higher than Nexus 4, but below Galaxy S3, Xperia Z, Galaxy Note 2, HTC One, etc. This is the breakup, you can pause and check this out. The next benchmark I am going to run is the Dynamark 2 benchmark. Well, the graphics FPS on this Grand 2 is 56.6, which is not bad, close to the perfect 60 FPS. The next benchmark I am going to run is this Velamo to check the browser performance of this Grand 2. Well, the result is here, it's not bad comparable to high-end devices like S4, Note 2, etc. Let me show you the breakup. From here, you can compare the result with other devices. This is the full breakup, you can pause and check this out. Well buddies, the hardware of this Grand 2 is reasonable for the price and the main reason you should buy this phone is this large display. The interface is speedy enough for everyday uses and the gaming performance of this phone is also not bad. I have uploaded a gaming review so check the channel for that and also wait for my full in-depth review where I'll make my final verdict about this smartphone. So make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. You can also connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com slash gadgets portal and look for a written review of the smartphone into gadgetsportal.in. So that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching and keep in touch.